Hello guys, today I will show you how I made this DIY spectrometer from cheap camera and a DVD. Surprisingly, it's good enough to analyze light from UV to near infrared and costed me less than 10 euros. If you don't know already, a spectrometer is a device that can analyze a given source of light and decompose it into its emission spectrum. That way you can get many informations on the light, such as if it's a continuous spectrum, the wavelength of monochromatic light and more. With UV and infrared, you can also identify some chemical compounds, so it's safe to say that it's very useful and versatile. Now let's see how to build it. The most important part is the diffraction grating. Basically it's the same as a prism but it's flat. It's the piece that allows the light to be separated into the rainbow. And you can buy one on internet or you can also use a piece of DVD or CD like me. Then to receive the rainbow we need a light detector. So I bought a cheap laptop camera on Amazon and I removed the plastic casing. And finally you need the box to put everything inside. I'm not going to detail the construction further though because there are lots of good tutorials on YouTube. Instead, let's do some experiments. First, we have this red laser and thanks to the spectrometer, we can determine the precise wavelength at which it emits, but that's kind of simple. A more interesting thing to do is to debunk the famous DIY black light like this one. Basically, it's just a LED flashlight with layers of blue and purple tape on it to filter the light. And many video claims it makes UV, but is it true? Once we put it through the spectrometer, we can see that the light emitted is dark blue at 515 nanometers, which is not UV light yet. We can also observe some green light and a tiny bit of orange that manages to pass through the filters. The next thing is this pinkish LED lamp. The reason you would want to analyze it is because I personally know only a few colors of LED that are possible to make, and pink is not one of them. So how is the light produced? A quick look at the spectrum easily shows us that it's made from two different LED sources, one blue and one orangey red. Now we will do a tiny bit of chemistry to show another cool thing to do with the spectrometer. We take some random as grass and make a paste with it in the mortar. Then we add some ethanol and make a green chlorophyll solution and filter it with a coffee filter. We're gonna add some 90% alcohol which, we're gonna, which, which is going to dissolve the chlorophyll. Basically we're just, just making a plant solution. Alright, so now we're going to filter all of that to the beaker. As you can see, it has made a nice green solution. Just going to filter it now. Oh. Finally, I put it into this vertical flask for the spectrometer. Nice. So this is a very cool solution, but beware that if you make it, it's not going to last forever. I found out that after, let's say, one week or two, it just degrades too much to be used anymore. It just turns a little bit less vibrant, a little bit more yellowish, you know, just degraded organic matter. So yeah, you use it fresh if you can. All right, now let's first test the wavelength of the chlorophyll solution. To do that, I use a very bright LED to get a good continuous spectrum. Ideally, we could also use a tungsten lamp. Then, we put the tube just after the slit in the spectrometer to avoid the fact that our test tube is round, so if it's too close to the detector, the spectrum will be way less accurate. Now we're going to measure the fluorescent emission of the chlorophyll, and to do that, I will use my false UV lamp from earlier. As you can see, we don't observe anything in the sunlight, so we need to go in a dark place. Just to show you, I'm gonna go in my cave, because I have a cave. Yes, sir. Alright, so now I don't see shit, and you neither, so if I turn on the, hold on, yep, okay, so if I put my sample here, and I make it glow, yeah, I think you can see the red a little bit, maybe, yeah, yeah, okay, nice, 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 now you can see the red much better, yep, so as you can see, it's very hard to get a good camera reading of this one, but I'm still gonna try to to get it right with the spectrometer. As expected, it was pretty hard to get a good reading, and I even had to put the blue light inside of the casing, but I think it could be much better by using a thin chlorophyll layer and a real UV lamp. As you can see, the red fluorescent peak is observed at approximately 700 nanometers, which corresponds well to the dark red color we see. 
Finally, I managed to improve the range of observation by using a different DVD grading, and after a quick calibration with the fluorescent bulb, we can observe 4 peaks on the camera, and the software even sees a fifth orange one. The range is from 300 nanometers in UV up to 715 nanometers at the limit of infrared, which is pretty good. Anyway, that was all for this special video. Check out those two chemistry channels, Salt and Peroxide and Mr. Yellow, and join our Discord server. Bye.